because what's up? I'm just gonna commit a game of one of my friends here, 1600 chess. Of course, they just started. D4, D5, Knight F3. So you didn't miss anything. Okay, so our nice reloads. Bishop A4. Is that is that odd? I don't quite know where Ray Lopez, all the Ray Lopez lines. But I think this is actually fine. D5 is now played? Yeah. D6 is common here. Castles and then d4. This is just a main line of Ray Lopez. Very common. Uh huh. Actually, this is this is correct. I I actually remember reading an article by Jan Timon on this. H3 is correct. Otherwise, if you just go ahead with d4, then bishop g4, and then this would be a loose. Yeah, this is still all main line. It's an impressively lengthy analysis of, it's an impressively lengthy line. Theory goes very deep. Um, what can we be seeing? Light here. Okay. Now, now what really? Seems like I would prefer black here. Black is just more developed. Especially, I mean, this doesn't really develop the knight because it doesn't really have any good squares to go to, and it sort of just undeveloped his bishop. I would probably expect rook d8, rook d8, or bishop g7, that's nice, bishop b7, excuse me. I'm expecting to see bishop b7. And then rook a to b8.
course, if black plays bishop d7, there's this annoying pawn, so we have to come up with some way to attack it, which seems pretty well defended right now. Bishop b7 would already be playing and using a lot of pressure to it. But there are three pieces defending it, so maybe I wouldn't see that. Maybe. Although, see, one idea is bishop b7, and rook d8, yeah, he played bishop b7. See, after rook d8, of course, there are only two pieces defending it, because this one's in a pin. <clears throat> so that's probably part of his plan to attack it. Even then, though, I don't see a way to get three pieces on it. What black has lead in development, and he has the advantage of this apple of this open file. This open file is his advantage. It's purely his advantage right now. Rook, rook d8 is actually coming with tempo, of course. I would. I mean, this rook is actually doing something on f8. It's protecting the king. I would not weaken the king. Or for that matter, the f7 square. I would not play rook f d8. I would definitely play rook a d8. Another thing to note now is that this pawn is now weaker. Since this knight moved here, this does not exist anymore. So maybe he wanted to reposition it. I can't be I can't be certain of what he wants to do. It's just my idea. His idea. That was me and with my father. Sorry, I didn't see the last couple of moves, so let me go back. Okay, I saw this. So yeah, b3, kick the knight, that's what I thought he would play. He didn't get this rook d8 move in. And I suppose I was right, he wanted to reposition that to knight. Sorry about that. He played rook d8, but now... Okay, I see tactics. I see tactics. Knight takes uncovering an attack, uncovering a discovered attack on this. So, that's his idea. Even though the three pieces are defending it, he's thinking of a tactical way to capture it, since after this, he has no time to recapture it because his queen 
Amazon free. So that's his idea, I'm sure. Eh, naturally white side. No, just king. Yeah, queen up. I'm not that stupid. I know. That's it. Queen. And see now, it's got to be black. Who's on the defensive because... This pawn is loose, and it looks like it's going to be hard to defend. I'm going to have to maybe move knight d7, which is not something black is going to want to do, because this rook is useless if there are two knights blocking it. I mean, because this knight's going to have to... This knight's going to have to stay. This rook is not going to be so happy behind two knights. And then it's just going to be white's rook who's happy on the d-file. Oh, I didn't see that. That's nice. Discovery? Discover defense? Okay. Sorry, that makes much more sense than knight d7. Really? I can't help but feel like this rook thinks the second rank is tasty. Look at all the pieces on the second rank. I mean, obviously he can't go there now. I understand that. But down the road in some lines, he may very well be able to go down there to the second rank and totally crush white. Probably not something he would go for. Um, well, why isn't it? It seems okay. Oh, this pawn will just be fixed. That's a nice move. This pawn is pretty much fixed, and that means this bishop's useless. That's another reason, among with the rook d2 possibilities. This is another reason, after this pawn push, this is fixed. You can't really do anything. It's just stuck. You're going to have to like go back, and then that's wasting a move. Meanwhile, black isn't only stopping a threat, but he's also gaining space. Bishop c5 is nice. So, a way to stop bishop c5 would be to play b4. But after b4, this bishop has even less life. Because this, this now this pawn is fixed and the bishop can't make use of another diagonal in any line. I mean, as long as black doesn't play something like a6 or a5.
I guess bottom line is I would definitely prefer black in this position. Seems as though white no longer possesses the initiative he naturally inherited on move one. Do I just say black? I don't know. Yeah, just so he played b4, and this bishop is just not happy. He's gonna have to go back, wasting his bishop b2 move. It was inaccurate. That's not. It wasn't a good move. All I can say for black is don't play a5. I guess now white's got to be planning a4 to try to break down this chain. So this, so this bishop can have some life. Four takes bishop there. It's nice for white, so I would not go down that line. But what's the idea of that? Can I move the bishop along this diagonal? can move in a square like that. I'm just joking. No, but what is the idea? Does he want to think out of a knight? Does he want to think out of a bishop? I'm not sure. <clears throat> this is going to be a while, guys. Man, it's easier to play these games than it all. Yeah, he wants to move the bishop along the f8 h6 diagonal i don't really understand why actually maybe i do because this bishop was kind of useless on an e7 it's not going to be any more useful along this diagonal and this bishop is controlling all of these squares, so it's not really going to be so useful. As black, I certainly wouldn't trade off the dark square bishops. This is black's bad bishop that he wasted a move on. Like three moves ago. Three moves ago seems like ten minutes ago, but that's not a bad thing. Yeah, that's not really a more useful piece. I mean, this bishop is stuck behind these two pieces, both of which are obstructed. Well, this one's pinned, and this one's just plain, plain obstructed by the pawn right in front of it. Can't really go anywhere. Oh, I see White's idea. Pretty simple. Maybe he could just establish queen on h6, maybe a knight on b5 is possible. I wonder how Black is going to stop that. I can't. All he can do is, after bishop h6, all he can do is not capture it. If he captures, 
he captures from the queen he wants. If he doesn't capture, So I'm definitely expecting bishop h6 right here. Nothing else would make any sense. Yep. I don't expect to see bishop takes. I expect to see a rook a d8. Trying to find some counterplay on the b-file, but unfortunately I don't think there's any counterplay. Actually, I take that back. I think there's plenty. That'd be nice. Well, I think there's a lot. Maybe rook d3, uh, rook d3, no. Rook d3, bishop takes. This pawn is not big enough to, to make it, obviously. Not rook d3. No, there's no counterplay. I don't I don't see much counterplay, so <clears throat> Oh, that's just a really that's a really sad bishop. So let's try to see what they do. In the last minute of the game. I remember earlier I preferred black. Because he was just better developed. But he's definitely played him accurately in there and um white has capitalized. Again, equal on time. I don't know. Equal on time. Hmm. Twenty one and three quarters minutes. Use it well, sixteen hundred chess. This seems like a poor bishop. I would maybe want to start something on the flanks. See if I can get this bishop more active. And obviously if a4, b takes, then this, this is nice. If a4 and uh, let's play, let's do this. Takes, takes, and white hasn't got me either. So I don't know about a4. I don't think a4 is good. So. Hmm. 
He did play A4, like I mentioned. Rook A D8. What? What have you accomplished? After Rook A D8, what does A4 accomplish? Rook A D8. A takes B. A takes B. Rook A7. Looks nice, but what are you really going to accomplish that way? I'm not quite sure. Yes, it is definitely going to be a Y. Candidate moves for black are just bishop c6 and rook a8. With those two, I think rook a8 is much better. Because it, I mean, they are occupying this file. Bishop c6 just doesn't seem to do anything after it takes. I mean, you're gonna have to sort of do this. You're gonna have to take it like this, and then this idea will be accomplished. Though, I mean, you won't be able to occupy the D file at all. After Bishop C6, if you do this, then Black and White gets the play he wants and can exchange these bishops. This pawn is also weak. And keep in mind the queen was on this diagonal at that time. Some things to note. So my bet is fully on rook a to b8. We could be here for a while, but just to let you know. What is that about? Yep, I definitely prefer white in this position. That's just a useless move. I'm sorry, I'm 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 just annoyed by that. That's a useless move. What is that doing? That rook was nice on the d file. Now you're just moving it to a completely obstructed d file. Look at all the pieces. I mean, I see. I mean, there's pawn obstructions, pawn blockades. When a pawn blockades a pawn, it's pretty much a dead file. For a long, it's a dead file for a long time. If black wants to activate some pieces on that file, he's going to have to sacrifice a lot of material, and it's just not going to work. I mean, there are four pieces defending this pawn. That just won't work. I mean, I see you're doing queen, rook opposing queen. But, like I said, there are so, there are so many obstructions to this file. It's just not going to be worth it. If this pawn weren't here, it would definitely be worth it. It would be nice, I think. And I'm bringing about some tactical ideas on this pawn. But this pawn is just killing Black's chances. I mean... I don't understand that move. I 
I wonder if Stockfish does. I wonder if White's going to close things up on the Queen's side. You know what? Maybe that's something I overlooked. Maybe... I, I think if I were White, I would probably do that because I think... It seems like all of play is concentrated on me. If Black closes up the King side, then... White will have no chances on the king side. That's something I didn't think about. White will have no chances on the king side. And then, if, if white closes up the queen side, black will have black will have no chances on the queen side, and then. White will be able to use all of his pieces on the king side to draw. But again, Rook eighty eight. This if if we go back one move, if Rook eighty eight had been played, then after this, yes, White is going to be able to direct his play. But then black will have some counterplay on that d-file with the rook. That would be that's necessary. So we played rook eighty one. It sucks. I mean, getting the knight makes less sense, and it's like the queen d five. Definitely Queen D five. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I, I'm pretty sure this Knight G seven move was a was a bad mistake. Queen G five. This is hit. This well, this is hit twice. Yeah, wait. This is a tasty diagonal, and also not really that. No. Queen G5, this, and these, and this are all hit. That's kind of nice for white. Uh, this bishop is dead. Obviously dead. No way that it's going to get in the game. It's not gonna get in the game. Working D two. I was Thinking about Queen G five, I think Queen G five is the best. Would have been the best move. White's used up a lot of his time. I think Black is gonna have to sp spend some of his extra time really thinking about the best move.
Okay, we played 96. Let's go back. Look at game 96. Wow, what was the point of. What's the point of 97? Was it to play 96? Because what's the point of 96? Rookie to D1. Black, white has accomplished what black needed to accomplish and just completely neglected. Obviously, he won't just play rook d8. See, that's a kind of too little, too late kind of move. Come on, 1600 chess, you gotta win this game.
at age two. And what's the purpose of that? Where's that night? What is the purpose of that? That night can't really relocate anywhere. Still expecting some some form of rook a d eight and then a pawn a d eight at some point. Okay, so as I had been saying, I had been expecting a5 for over five moves now. And bishop c6 was only something I briefly covered. I didn't really expect it to be played. Being numerous, let me actually go by back five moves. Yeah, I definitely expected a5 all this time. Rook a to d8. Wow. It's a little bit late for that. I think it would have been better earlier. Because now, as I mentioned, this queen side is closed. Pretty nicely, pretty, pretty solid way. By the way, I think I should cover this. I don't think. I mean, if you're gonna play like queen b5 and then rook d1, I think there are some sacrifices. Because I think if you're gonna play queen g. not queen g5, if you're gonna play. Uh, no, I don't know. If, if this queen is gonna end up over here somehow on b6, this is just a thought. And there's a sacrifice here because after takes. I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna play rook d1, and your queen is gonna end up here, there's there's some capture, and that you win all this rook. That's just something. Notice that the queen ends up here and the rook's not on d1. 
all the bishops defending, so that wouldn't work. <coughs> okay. That's not correct. That that rook was, I feel like, the black's only play at all. That rook on the open file was black's only play. See, black is exchanging off all his pieces when it's really white that has, you know, an advantage. Not material advantage. Material is completely equal. But this, I mean, it's not really equal. This bishop is pretty much out of the game. <coughs> it's not a healthy piece. I guess if black wants to, I guess black is gonna have to trade off. The bishop. He's gonna have to try to trade off the bishops. Even though I prefer white, she's got more space. It's a nicer position. What's the idea? White's just gotta be better. I mean, this king is sort of restricted. So, being that this king is restricted, black has to make plans to get rid of this bishop. The bishop is causing a lot of problems. Black has to trade off the dark square bishop somehow. Because this bishop is problematic bishop for black because it's not doing anything. This bishop is excellent for white. This king is useless. It can't get away, and that's all because of this bishop. That's all because of this bishop. Black has to get this bishop off the board. Gotta do that. Yeah. Bishop d7. I am actually okay with this move here because it's restricting this bishop. In other words, I mean, now if, if bishop g7 is played, this bishop doesn't really have any other choice other than to take. Because if it, if it goes back, then just g6, g5, and that's actually just winning the bishop. It doesn't really have any choice other than to, to, uh, to take, after which black should be happier. So, my bet is on bishop g7 right now.
1600 chess is a long time. <coughs> well, actually, bishop d7, of course, not solid. It's an odd sort of thing. Okay, and I see that, obviously. Weaknesses. This pawn is very weak. That's a problem. Now the knight there, that can just be sort of undermined by bishop d8 there. And then this is a gun. And it's tough to just sit here for an hour, however long I've been doing this. It's tough to sit here for that long and just look at chess games. I know I've been here for over an hour. And I also know that Blitz is more fun to watch, but it's much less instructive. This is more instructive, even if it's not like GM games or Master games, which I will look at soon. But again, most of these Master games are, I mean, most of the Masters on this site only play Blitz. If you actually look at all of the games that are played, they're almost all bullet and blitz and not in standard. And that makes sense because bullet and blitz are exciting and standard boring. But bullet and blitz aren't instructive and standard is. That's why standard's best. I mean, that's why they don't have like. I mean, almost no tournaments are blitz tournaments. Because that doesn't act, that doesn't, sh that doesn't actually prove anything about the player. Look at these knights. Knights are having a lot of fun. Black needs to get this bishop out right away. necessary to the battle one or another he's got to either trade off these bishops and then get his king over here or just get it out and move it here and then win this pawn Bishop f6, I feel that bishop f6 must be played right now.
But let's see what black does. Because, I mean, once again, I think black has the chances. Yep, okay, thank god he played bishop. F6, and yes, I did just say thank god, it's not a swear, okay? I must play bishop h4 and undermine the defense of this knight. Of this pawn, I should say. Two pieces defending, two attacking. If you can get rid of this knight, then this will fall. This is exactly what I was discussing. And I think this will be the first time anyone's anyone will be ahead in material. I mean, if this happens. I don't really see any way for white to defend. <coughs> I think if black has technique, and also, look, he has five more minutes. I think if Black has the proper technique, then he'll be able to win this game. Because I think. I mean. Uh -huh. Well. Okay. Well, no, okay, I think knight takes, knight takes bishop, pawn takes bishop, and then bishop takes knight, is the direction that he has to go in, that white has to go in if he wants to have any chances. So pawn takes, and this, you're still threatening to win. Oh, well. Okay. Yes. That. And then bishop takes knight. You could. You, I mean, you would see this. So. That is true, but I think this would be excessive. Yeah, after bishop takes knight, pawn takes bishop, knight takes pawn. It's just gonna be over. I'm sorry I couldn't find the line, but I mean, I couldn't I couldn't find the uh, the actual line. Of course, you. Mm. Right. He has time to defend that. Take this. You don't want him to take this one. That's the less active. No, if you take this one, I guess this pawn has more chances, but not really. Yeah, he doesn't really even need to capture this pawn at either, either of these pawns anytime soon because they're not going anywhere. They're both completely stopped, and it's impossible to send either. To defend either one of them, but I would get I would get it out of the way right now so that the knight could go somewhere else. I think this is just precise by black. It really should be all black from here on out. Triple pawns. That happened in one of my games, 
once, but they were just stuck that way for a long time. I mean, so it's all black. <clears throat> In fact, you can you can even just go back and take this pawn. Yeah, black is just gonna be down two pawns and have his set of doubled pawns, so he will pretty much be down three pawns. Yep, and he resigned. Well, I stayed there for the whole game. It took a long time. Thank you.